So over the years, we've done quite a few wheel disassembly videos, and one of the absolute most common questions we wind up with in the comments is where to find replacement ball bearings. So today we wanted to show you how to go about finding the correct ball bearings when you're replacing them on your stroller. Um, you can look at uh, any number of videos on our channel for disassembling wheels. You, there's a good chance you might find the specific wheel for your specific stroller. But uh, in any case, once you get down to, you, to where you can see the ball bearing, is generally a matter of just prying it out. And once you have the ball bearing out, you can start looking for the information you need to find the correct ball bearing. So, once you have uh, removed your ball bearing, you can have a look at it, and you may need a magnifying glass in order to do so, and you'll find a bit of information. And one thing you'll almost always find is a number with some letters. You may also find the manufacturer's name. So for example, on this one, you have the manufacturer's name, COM-A, that's who made this ball bearing. On the other side, you see 6001ZZ, and that is the part number, and it's actually a pretty standardized industry. So, if you then take that number, 6001ZZ, and just do a simple Google search, you will find a variety of people who are selling ball bearings with that number. So this one, as I said, was from Com-A, but the first thing I find when I do a search is from a brand named NSK, 12 millimeter deep groove ball bearing, 28 millimeter. Okay, and there are going to be a few different sizes that are important, but if you look down on your Google search, once you find what you think is the right one, you can check it out. So you need to know the inside diameter. Dia uh, all of the information here is of course going to be done with um, millimeters, and it's important that it's correct. But you can measure your millimeters and find out that it is in fact 12 millimeters for the inside diameter. Make sure that's correct on whatever ball bearing you're looking at online. For the outside diameter, in this case, you would find out that it's 28 millimeters. And then the next bit of information that's important is going to be what they call the race width, which is um, the overall width of the ball bearing. Now, in most cases, that's going to be the same on the inside and the outside. In this case, it's 8 millimeters. Uh, there are a few types of ball bearings that are used on strollers that will have a lip on the inner portion. So you just need to make sure that you see in the pictures when you're searching online whether it has that additional lip, and then you will notice additional size, mil size information given to you in millimeters. Uh, and you can just check that with a little ruler as to whether it is the same on your ball bearing. So it's actually not as hard as people think to find correct ball bearings. It's a very standardized sort of thing. Ball bearings have all kinds of applications beyond strollers, using skateboards and all kinds of different sorts of things. And uh, that is how you go about finding the information from your ball bearing so that you can do a Google search and then verify with a ruler that it's correct in terms of its dimensions and then purchase new ball bearings for your stroller. We hope this video was useful to you. And if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.